as to why the balloon has not popped even though I have pierced the surface of the balloon. When you fill a balloon with air, that air pushes against the wall of the balloon and causes it to expand. The pressure inside of the balloon causes a surface tension on the surface of the balloon. That surface tension, however, is not constant. At the sides of the balloon, the surface tension is much higher compared to the top of the balloon. Hence, when I pierce the balloon at the side, the balloon explodes instantly. Since the surface tension at the top is much lower, I'm able to pierce the balloon with the stick and it does not pop. Observe what happens when I stretch this piece of balloon and I pierce through it with this piece of stick. As you can see, the size of the hole is far more bigger than the end of the stick. Now, notice what happens to this piece of balloon when I stretch it less than the balloon before. As you can see, the stick is allowed to enter without ripping the balloon apart. This is exactly what happens to the balloon at the start of the video. The top of the balloon has less surface tension, therefore it allows the stick to go through without popping the balloon. You probably know that it is easier for you to cut a piece of cloth if you pull apart at the point in which you would like to cut that cloth. This is similar to what happens when you try to pop a balloon by piercing the side of that balloon. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please like and subscribe to the channel.